Hello, this is probability lesson two. In this, I will discuss addition theorem. Before going to addition theorem, let me discuss something about the set theory. Uh, let's say set A is there. Set is a collection of elements. Set A is there. One, two, three, four. Four elements are there. Set B. Three, four, five, six. Again, four elements are there. When we say A union B, this is sign of union. Or we can say that A or B, same thing. Either we can say that A union B or A or B. This will include all the elements in A and B together. Can I say this will be equals to? You need to count all elements that are there in A and B. That will be one, two, three, four, five, and six. These six elements are there in total A and B. We have to count all the elements. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. Six elements are there in. A union B, or you can say A or B. When I say A intersection B, this is intersection. A intersection B, or you can say that A and B. That is, that means that element which are there in both A as well as B. Both is word and there. A the element which are there in A as well as the element which are there in B also common elements. This means common elements. Common elements, you can say this three and four. That's the meaning of A intersection B and A union B. I explained you. Let me explain this with the help of Venn diagram. That will make your concept more clear. Let me make this circle A. This set, this circle represents set A. This another circle represents set B. When I say A union B, this means complete shaded region. Let me make this. This A union B means complete shaded region. This is A union B. Let me explain this. Uh, this is when I say A union B or A or B. This means complete shaded region. This means complete shaded region. Now you can say that A has how many elements? One element, two is there. Three and four both are common elements in A and B. This is five and six. When I say A union B, it means complete shaded region. So A union B, or you can say that A or B. This contain how many elements? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six elements are there in A union B. This will be equals to A plus B number of elements. Understand? Number of elements in A union B, or number of elements in A or B. This is equals to number of elements in A plus number of elements in B minus number of elements in A and B. You can say number of elements in A are how much? Number of elements in A union B. First, this is six. Number of elements in A are four. Why well, say because A A contains one, two, three, and four. Four elements. Number of elements in B again four. That is three, four, five, six. Now you know that A union B. This is one, two, three, four, five, six. But we have counted here three, four here as well as here. It means that one, two, five, six we have included once. But three and four. This three and four are included in A as well as B. This three and four. Are we have included in in A as well as this three and four we have included in B. So we have included three and four twice. So we have to subtract once. So number of elements in A and B this is two. This will be three and four. So that how the formula is there. N A union B this always equals to N A plus N B minus number of elements in A intersection B or A and B. The, from here, the formula of probability also comes, which says that probability of A or B. From here comes the formula: probability of A or B will be equal to probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A and B. That is the addition theorem. This is addition theorem in probability. the theorem which is applied in set theory is same applicable in probability
probability of event a or b or a union b you can say that probability of a union b this is equals to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a intersection b but commonly we use this a or b that is the meaning of addition theorem let me write again this is probability of a or b this will be equals to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a and b now if if events are if events are mutually exclusive mutually exclusive i explained to you what is the meaning of mutually exclusive events these are events which cannot happen together for example a dice is thrown you can say the dice is thrown you throw a dice event a is getting an even number event b is getting an odd number even number favorable cases would be 2 4 odd number favorable cases would be 1 3 in that case a and b set will have no common no common element a and b miss common elements no common elements is there so probability of a and b will be how much zero as there are no common elements in a and b the probability of happening them together is zero otherwise you can apply the common sense once you throw a dice the number will be either even or odd both of them will never come together there will be no possibility that number is even as well as odd so probability that number is even and number is odd this is zero so very important whenever the events are mutually exclusive this probability of happening a and b together would be zero so if events are mutually exclusive then formula will be how much probability of a or b this will be equals to probability of a plus probability of b as probability of a and b this will become why so because this probability of a and b this is zero when the events are mutually exclusive so this will the formula will become when events are mutually exclusive otherwise this formula will be applicable a or b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a and b we will do some question that will make the concept better clear for you first question is there are 100 tokens number 1 to 100 what is the probability of picking a token that is divisible by 3 or 5 now you can see that this is a question on a or b now we need to calculate token number is divisible by 3 or it is divisible by 5 d means divisible this is equal to probability that number is divisible by 3 token number is divisible by 3 plus token number is divisible by 5 minus token number is divisible by both 3 and 5 as this probability of a or b is equal to probability of a plus probability of b minus probability of a and b i just discuss the same addition theorem i am applying here now what is the probability that number is divisible by 3 token number now we have probability is favorable upon total cases probability is favorable upon total so probability that number is divisible by 3 we have drawn a one token so one token total cases how many ways i can draw one token out of 100 100 c1 i can select any one token out of 100 that will be total possible cases favorable that token number is divisible by 3 d3 favorable cases token number is divisible by 3 so token number could be 3 6 9 12 up to 99 this is 3 into 1 this is 3 into 2 up to 3 into 33 so 33 favorable token numbers are there which are divisible by 3 so i can select any one of them this is 33 c1 plus same way token number is divisible by 5 probability probability is favorable by total total cases would be again 100 c1 token number is divisible by 5 how many favorable cases we have this could be 5 token number could be 5 10 15 up to 95 this is 5 into 1 to 5 into 19 19 token numbers are possible which are divisible by 5 so i can select any one of those 19s and that will make my favorable cases this is 19 c1 because you are selecting one token minus very important again total case would be 100 c1 the token number is divisible by both 3 and 5 when a number is divisible by 3 and 5 it is divisible by the lcm we need to calculate the lcm 
एलसीएम ऑफ थ्री एंड फाइव इज फिफ्टीन यू नीड टू फाउंड द नंबर डिविजिबल बाय फिफ्टीन वेन एवर वी नीड टू फाउंड द नंबर विच आर डिविजिबल बाय बोथ थ्री एंड फाइव इट मीन्स वी नीड टू कैलकुलेट दियर एल्सियम बिकॉज ओनली द नंबर विच आर डिविजिबल बाय फिफ्टीन विल बी डिविजिबल बाय बोथ थ्री एंड फाइव सो वी नीड टू हंड द मल्टीपल ऑफ फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन मल्टीपल मल्टीपल विल बी फिफ्टीन थर्टी फोर्टी फाइव अप टू नाइंटी दिस इज फिफ्टीन इंटू वन टू फिफ्टीन इंटू सिक्स सिक्स नंबर्स आर देयर विच आर डिविजिबल बाय बोथ थ्री एंड फाइव वी हैव टू सब्ट्रैक्ट दोज नंबर्स सिक्स सी वन एंड यू कैन सेलेक्ट एनी वन ऑफ दो सिक्स सो फॉर्मूला विल बी दिस दिस विल बिकम एन सी वन इज यू नो दैट एन सी वन इज इक्व टू एन सो दिस इज थर्टी थ्री बाय हंड्रेड प्लस नाइनटीन बाय हंड्रेड माइनस सिक्स बाय हंड्रेड दिस थर्टी थ्री प्लस नाइनटीन इज फिफ्टी टू माइनस सिक्स दिस विल बिकम फोर्टी सिक्स बाय हंड्रेड दैट इज ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय फिफ्टी विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर सो प्रोबिलिटी दैट नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय थ्री और फाइव फाइनल आंसर विल बी ट्वेंटी थ्री बाय फिफ्टी हेयर आप आई हैव सोल्ड दिस क्वेश्चन विद हेल्प ऑफ एडिशन थियोरम दैट इज प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ ए और बी विल बी इक्वल टू प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ ए प्लस प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ बी माइनस प्रोबिलिटी ऑफ ए एंड बी क्वेश्चन टू इज बैग कंटेन फाइव रेड बोल्स फाइव रेड बोल्स आर वन आर टू आर थ्री आर फोर एंड आर फाइव फाइव रेड बोल्स सेम वे सिक्स ग्रीन बोल्स सिक्स ग्रीन बोल्स एंड सेम वे सेवन ब्लू बोल्स दे आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट बोल्स फाइव बोल्स आर रेड ए बॉल इज डोन एट रैंडम फ्रॉम द बॉक्स वट इज द प्रोबिलिटी दैट बोल इज इधर रेड और ग्रीन so we need to get, again apply the addition theorem probability that ball is either red or green i will make it bit shortcut the first i will find the probability of red addition theorem plus probability that ball is green minus probability that ball is red as well as green red and green now what is the probability that the ball is red again probability is favorable by total total cases are how many total balls we have 7 plus 6 13 plus 5 18 red 18 total balls we have So eighteen C one any of the one ball can be selected or drawn. What is the probability that ball is red? Red balls are five. We can select any one of those red balls. That will be favorable cases. That is five C one. What is the probability that ball is green? Again, total cases are eighteen C one. You can select any one out of eighteen. That will be total possible cases. Green six green balls. Any of the six green balls we can select in in six C one way. That will make our favorable cases six C one minus. What is the probability that ball single ball that we have drawn is both red as well as green? Now these are mutually exclusive event because single ball can be either red or green, but can't be both red and green. On one ball or on one ball there will be one color. There is the possibility of this will be zero because one ball. Can't have two colors, red as well as green. So this will make the case of mutually exclusive event because both of them cannot happen together. A single ball cannot have two colors, red as well as green. So this probability will be zero. That is a mutually exclusive case. So this will become eleven by eighteen will be your final answer. Five C one means five, six C one means six, and eighteen C one means eighteen. So that will be your final answer. Question three is if if a card is drawn from a well shuffled pack of card, what is the probability that it is a diamond or a king? So we need to find the probability of diamond or king. What we will do we, this? We will apply the addition theorem. Probability that num the card is a diamond plus probability that the card is a king minus probability that card is diamond as well as king together. What is the probability that card is a diamond? We have withdrawn one card out of out of fifty two cards, so total cases will be fifty two C one. How many diamond cards we have? Diamond cards we have. Diamond is one suit. Thirteen cards of diamond we have. So any one of thirteen can come. Thirteen C one plus kings. So again, total cases will be fifty two C one. How many kings we have? Four kings are there. One for club. One for spade. One for heart. One for diamond. Any of the four king can be selected. That will make our favorable cases. Minus 
again total cases would be 52 c1 because we have done one card probability that the card you selected is diamond as well as king so how many uh, cards are there which are diamond as well as king there is one card that is king of diamond king of diamond there will be one card king of diamond which will be diamond as well as king there will be one card so this probability will be final will be answer would be nc1 is equals to n so this 13 plus 4 4 17 minus 16 minus 1 16 by 52 that is 4 by 13 will be your final answer second set is the card is a number card or a spade card i am solving here probability that card is a number card or spade card this is again, again applied addition theorem probability that card is a number card card is a spade card minus probability that card is a number card as well as spade card so how many number cards we have the again total case would be 52 c1 number card how many numbers card we have 36 number cards from 2 to 10 2 to 10 for diamond heart club spade these are 36 2 to 10 9 cards for diamond 9 for heart 9 for club 9 for spade 36 cards we have that are called as number cards so we can select any one of those 36 36 c1 the card is spade how many spade cards we have 13 minus the card which are number as well as spade so that will include 2 to 10 cards of spade these cards 2 to 10 cards of spade they are spade as well as number cards so there are 9 cards so 9 c1 you have to select any one of those 9 so answer would be 36 plus 13 minus 9 13 minus 9 is 4 36 plus 4 40 by 52 your answer would be 10 by 13 there is 10 by 13 probability that the cards you selected is spade over a number card third is jack or queen probability that the card is jack or queen this is probability of the card is jack plus probability the card is queen minus probability that the card is jack as well as queen together that is case third jack and queen the probability that card is jack how many jack are there four jack are there four c1 upon 52 c1 how many queens we have four queens four c1 upon 52 c1 minus how many cards are there which are jack as well as queen zero card there is no card which is jack as well as queen so this uh, this will the make of mutually exclusive events these are mutually exclusive because if, if you draw one card either that card will be jack or it will be a queen it is not possible the card is you selected is jack as well as queen so this case will be make mutually exclusive both event cannot happen together so probability of the card that is jack as well as queen is zero so answer is eight by 52 that is 2 by 13 will be your final answer so that was all about probability lesson 2 addition theorems basic as well as questions thank you